Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how I transform my hair from this to my silk press. I do this all at home, not professional. And yeah, if you would like to see how I do it, just keep watching. So I'm starting on very old matted dry hair. I haven't washed my hair in weeks. This is an old twist out. So I'm just getting ready to separate and twist my hair so it's easier for me to wash my hair. I like to do this because it just saves me time um, when I'm washing my hair. <laughs> see I have a lot of dandruff and my hair is pretty pretty dry so yeah I do really need a good wash um, it's been like I don't even know like how many weeks since I've washed my hair just lots of neglect so this is how my hair is looking at the moment so now I'm going in with my shampoo and I'm using my Pantene Gold Series Moisture Boost Shampoo and this is my favourite shampoo to use especially when I'm about to straighten it. It gives me moisture without stripping my hair and not too much moisture to the point my hair would feel greasy. So yeah I'm just going in with that. I went in with it like three, no two times and now I am going in with my Shea Moisture Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore treatment and i just like to use like a more strengthening mask when it comes to um my hair mask so i'm just going in with that and i am detangling my hair from tip to root and i'm using my white tooth comb and then i like to go in with my tangle teaser at the end just to make sure that my hair is extremely smooth because i will be blow drying my hair and i just don't want to deal with any tangles before i go and blow dry my hair so i'm just showing you guys how smooth my hair is this is how your hair should be looking when you are detangling it it should be extremely smooth because you do not want any tangles when you are going to blow dry your hair So now I'm just going to twist that up and I'm just going to repeat that on all sections of my hair. how my hair looks like after I have put deep conditioner in and I'm just going to sit under my steamer for about 25 to 30 minutes this is how much hair I lost throughout the weeks as you can, you can see that is a lot that is just because I literally just neglected my hair and this is the steamer that I use. They don't actually sell this steamer anymore, but I will link something similar down below. And I make sure I rinse out the deep conditioner thoroughly. I literally leave no product in my hair. And yeah, so this is the best um, heat protectant that I use. It's the Red Ken Extreme Anti Snap. And the second one is basically their new packaging. So. I don't really like it but yeah that's the new packaging for it and i also use the pantene gold series thermal heat protectant as well so i like to go in with that first and then i use my extreme anti-snap and this is literally the only two products i use to blow dry my hair and i only use a small amount and i get the best results this way because it gives me a lot of movement and body with my hair and yeah it's just extremely important not to make my hair greasy or weighed down because that will not give you that like flowy hair kind of texture so now i'm going in with my dyson um blow dryer so i'm just going to do the tension method for like two minutes just to stretch it out a little bit so i'm not using as much heat on my hair 
and it is on the second highest heat setting and now i'm going in with the comb attachment and i'm just going to make sure that i get my hair as smooth as possible making sure i'm hitting my roots especially making sure that my scalp is dry as well so yeah i'm just gonna go in with my blow dryer and i really love this blow dryer because it literally um, blow dries my hair super super quick as you guys can see i am doing this in real time now this is an important step for me this is something i've been doing for a few times now i go in with my tangle teaser and i get the bro the blow dryer and i blow dry downwards and i also blow dry in different directions just so my hair can get that movement so as you guys can see my hair is very light and flowy this is a very important step for me now when i do my blow drying method i'm hoping to find a smaller brush that i can use so i can get even better results but this is an important step for me so i'm just going to repeat that process all over again so i go in first with my pantene thermal heat protector then i go with my red Ken extreme anti-snap tension method then i do the the comb and then i go in back again with my um, tangle teaser just so I can get that movement that I desire and basically I learned this method from when I used to relax my hair and I was doing hair modeling for a while and they would use the brush um, method on my hair and I'll get the smoothest smoothest results so I just started doing that with my natural hair and yeah this is how you get the best results can you guys see how straight my hair is without even using a straightener on my hair so this is a really 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 good method if you're trying to get that silk press look As you guys can see i am super super tired but this is how my hair looks after i have blow dried it super sleek and shiny so now i'm just gonna go in with my chi silk infusion i'm going to go in with a small amount because i do not want to make my hair greasy greasy hair is not the look for me and it also makes my scalp super greasy as well so i'm just going to go in with a little bit of this and it's just a great heat protectant for my hair before i'm about to blow dry before i'm about to straighten it so i go in with small sections with my straightener and i got my straightener from vanity planet years years ago um so i'll link it down below if i can still find it and i get my and i my heat setting is on 420 to 430 degrees i know that might seem like a lot but for my texture of hair i have extremely thick hair and if i go any lower than that i will not get the results that I want and as you guys can see this is me doing it real time I'm taking my time I'm going very slowly so I don't have to do as many passes on my hair and I only do two passes on my hair as you guys can see I've missed a bit of a section and it's really annoying me that I didn't get that section but I do get it in the end but yeah so I use the chase method when I'm straightening my hair and I just go very slowly. I purposely made this part real um, real time because I do notice a lot of girls do go very fast when it comes to this um, method of straightening and you don't want to be afraid of the heat because if you are, you're not gonna get the results that you want and then you're going to 
get puffy ends and your hair might revert a lot quicker i'm not saying like keep the iron on your hair for a very long time but just take your time with it and then your hair will last a longer time so just don't be afraid of the heat i am afraid of getting it on my scalp because obviously i have bad memories with like it burning on my scalp but yeah just take your time and yeah you'll get the results that you want just go very slowly and you, if you do have a thick hair texture like me do use a high heat setting also another tip when you are straightening your hair at home make sure all your windows are open because that if you do not have your windows open your hair will attract the humidity so make sure your window is open and um you're allowing air to come in because you will sweat during this process so yeah just make sure you leave your windows open while you're doing this So this is the results of my hair it's super shiny super bouncy flowy whatever you would like to call it and um, these this is the best like straightening hair method that i have used in a long long time um, my hair lasts for weeks even in the humidity um, i'll leave a tiktok down below for how i um, keep my hair at night but this is literally the best method you get movement you get shine without having greasy hair and yeah this is my results my hair has grown a lot i got a trim um i think in february and my hair has grown a lot from that trim because i did um, have a setback with my hair so if you guys like this video please like it comment down below if you will use this method if i helped you out in any way and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one i've missed you guys so much and um, bye <laughs>